Hey, what's up everybody? Colin B here and welcome back to some more Prison Architect. Today's episode number 15. If you missed the last couple episodes, like always, you can check out the link in the description. It goes back to the playlist and check out all the last episodes of where we got to all the way up to this point, guys. So, last episode we did quite a bit. I've actually changed the, um, the length of these episodes to be a little bit longer for you guys. Uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying that. Anyway, we have a lot to do today also. Uh, first thing that we need to do is put a new door server, servo on here uh, to kind of pick up where we left off. We have a couple door servos here and we were having a little bit of an issue placing them. So now we can place it like that. There we go. Oh, we got an auto save going on. Okay, so that door has a door servo too. I want to kind of check out the other door servo situations here also. Where else do we need one? I wonder if we should do one over here next to this main area. I don't know though. I don't know if we really need it. Um, how about like this? We we can use one right there. And then uh, one is up there already. So we can go ahead and do... Yeah, look at this guys. You can do like status lights. Um, and we can do tons of different like... I mean this is kind of like all of your electrical type of stuff. It's really really cool. Uh, a little bit too complicated for me at the at the moment. I'm gonna have to figure that out a little bit more. Uh, what we also need to do, guys, is, though, is CCTV cameras today. So we're gonna set those up. But give me a minute on those. Um, we're gonna go. Uh, let's see. I wanna just add another door here, guys. Remote door. That can go there. Okay. So we have four remote doors uh, right now. And that's not not too shabby. Should we do another remote door? Where else do we need one? Huh? I wonder where else we kind of need one. I don't think we really need one anywhere actually. Um, hmm. Remote door here? No. Okay, let's leave those for right now. I want to see if these these will actually work here. Let's set this up to door mode normal okay so that should shut Malone is here in the oh my gosh I forgot guys so I, I wanted to mention we can actually only have one person up for parole at a time so it's no point in having two visitor tables and having such a big room so I might dwindle this down in the future I'm not exactly sure yet uh, but let's see what's going on here it's 11 26 a.m. Uh, how many people are in class so one interested, seven finished, zero people passed. Zero people passed the stupid class. Like, are you kidding me? All room staff only. Behavioral therapy. That shouldn't be the case anymore. Because I made it not staff only last episode, I thought. Psychologist. Yeah, it's a psychologist office, is it not? Let me see here. Um, so led by a psychologist in an office. Section length, two hours. Each prisoner requires a chair. Okay, and I think we're good on that. Why does it say staff only? So this is the accountant's office. We can actually make this staff only there and that staff only. Okay, um, and I think, yeah, they should be able to get here. So that shouldn't be the case. Um, let's check out the schedule for it. Behavioral therapy. Where is it? Um, okay, so behavioral therapy, we can just add it here. No teachers exist. Very interesting, guys. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Um, why does it say this? Stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> it stopped. Okay, so behavioral therapy. Okay, it's teaching. What we need to do is add some more chairs in here, though. Is there an extra chair down here? Yeah, so this chair... Um, this person shouldn't be the accountant. The uh, I wanted the psychologist to be down there, but whatever. I guess we moved it up here. So let's go ahead. Let's add two chairs here. Some chairs. There we go. Um, I guess should we add more than two? There we go. Three chairs. Why not? They're only 30 bucks a piece. Okay, so they're going to add some chairs there. Awesome, awesome. And I think, think we're doing okay. So one thing I want to look at 
What is going on over here? Are they just talking to Henderson or something? I don't know. Um, yeah, these guys need a lot of stuff, but they're in solitary for hours, guys. I have, look, at he's got 10 more hours in solitary, 17 hours for went. I put them in solitary for 24 hours because they are the bad boys of the prison, and I don't really care, man. They've been so annoying. Seriously, like super, super annoying to deal with. Okay, they're doing our, the new servos here. That is awesome. Uh, and then we can get all of our door situations set up. This remote door is damaged. What? Let's repair that. That's no good. This can be set to uh, door mode normal. Let's, uh, let's do that. Door mode normal. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead. Let's pause real quick and set up the rest of these doors now. Finally. Connect. Okay, let's set you up there. I think you're set up. Okay. Are you not? You're not set up. <laughs> okay, let's just set it up like that. Is it set up now? No. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. I have to, um... Okay, let's clear these connections. I totally forget, guys, that, I, that you have to, uh, press unpause it. Uh, so, hold on. Clear connections. There we go. Okay, let's pause it real quick. And I want to connect. Connect. Okay, connect to there. There we go. And then this can go connect to there. There we go. Okay, so three doors. I have it connected to three. So four doors right now. So it's connected to those four doors. Very, very nice. I think that should work out totally fine. It should, um, it should do all the four doors. And yeah, I think we're good with the doors now. That is awesome. Uh, let's make sure, yeah, these are all connected to the phone tap systems. So that's really, really great. Uh, we are monitoring those. And now, CCTV, guys. We're going to do some cameras today. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we can just go in utilities here. Man, CCTV cameras are only 200 bucks a camera. So that's actually not bad at all. Uh, let's set one up in here. This is going to be, actually, we definitely need one in the classroom. Uh, let's go like this. I could be in the corner of the classroom. Did I not place that? Oh no, I can't place it there. Interesting. Okay, where can I place it? I can place it right there, but I don't want to do that. Oh, it's because all the, uh, um, it's because all the, uh, whatever they're called, the, the school desks are right here. I think that's the problem. Okay, let's, uh, let's just set this up. Yeah, just in the center right here. That's fine. We'll just have it right there. Uh, so as far as the cafeteria and stuff goes, let's I want to highlight all of the fog of war kind of just to make sure we don't have any issues um, I think that's the way to do it like this here. Let's set this up like this. There we go We can set that up um, One right here Okay, very very nice uh, where, where else do we need to make sure to to watch? I think, I think every place else is kind of good. We're going to have cameras though. Let's have a camera right here. Um, wait, is that backwards? No, I think that's good. Okay, camera there. Then we can have a camera in here. So this will, this will check out the, uh, the whole area inside the parole room. Okay, well actually, yeah, we'll do it right here. That's a little bit cooler, cooler of a spot. This can be a camera right here. Um, so hopefully we can view all of the solitary area. And we want to view, obviously, the visitor center. Uh, so a camera right there wouldn't hurt. And let's just do one in the main room. I think that would make sense, right? So one camera in the main room here. Uh, let's have it kind of in the corner. No, this is fine right there. Okay, perfect uh, Let's check it out. Let's let's go ahead and connect some of them. We're gonna connect some of them with this monitor Connect, okay, let's connect this Inactive, okay now that should be active very very nice um, What else do we we can connect like oh, yeah, they're oh they have to build them whoops <laughs> Let's speed it up so they can they can build these cameras here. There, there's another one that is active. Here's another one. Very, very nice. 
Um, okay, we got that connected. I think the max, guys, is eight cameras um, on one connection thing. And then, and then it starts to get a little bit overloaded. Uh, they can't. They can watch up to eight cameras at one time, though. Three, four, five, six. That's six cameras on this one. So seven. And let's just kind of test this. Eight. So that's eight cameras on this one here. But now let's do one more. Nine. Okay. So do you see how it's flickering between back and forth between those two? That means it it can only watch um, one of those at like any given second. Uh, so that's actually fine though. I don't really care because those rooms are I mean Yeah, see see the fog of war is a little bit weird But yeah, it's it's whatever so now we can actually pay attention to where our prisoners are and stuff So that is very very nice guys very happy with that. We got an auto save going on um, Very very happy we can actually see stuff. Oh my lordy that is so much nicer. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we don't need guards like in every single place um, because that was just stupid before. All right, so what else are we going to do today? Um, I think, what else do we need to do? We have 10,000 bucks. We're literally losing money here. So let's see. Guard wages are pretty high. Workman wages are pretty high. Prisoner grant, federal grants. Okay, prisoner wages yesterday. The reform programs are super high here. Um, food, staff isn't too bad actually. Um, we're netting a lot. We're netting barely any money though, so that is no good. Um, 27 out of 32. Is this guy going to get parole? I'm not sure. Um, so, as, as you can maybe, or as you maybe just saw, they did just go to class right here. Oh, you know what? We're going to need another camera in the cafeteria, aren't we? So let's do that real quick. Let's go CCTV camera. Let's put it right here. There you go. One camera in there. Um, that's good. They're finding stuff on them. Awesome, awesome. Uh, what we can do is we can take the camera off of this. Connect. Let's go ahead. Can I disconnect this? Can I disconnect? No? Why can't I disconnect? Oh, I can just click on that. I can click on this and disconnect actually. So let's clear connections on there. Awesome. And then this one can go ahead and connect that one. And then the one that's in the uh, cafeteria. Actually, let's do this. I want them to kind of like connect all on like in the areas that they're uh, supposed to, you know, kind of thing. Um, can I not? Dang it. Dang it. Come on, I don't want to select the light. Press tab to cycle objects. There we go. I forgot that you can do that. Press tab. Okay, clear the connection there. So, I want to use this one to connect to the cafeteria. There we go. And then use these two to connect to these two rooms as of right now. So, that looks like that works out pretty well. Very, very nice. Um, what else are we doing here? It's, it's nighttime. Free time. They're going to sleep right now. Okay. Uh, we're still losing money here, though. Uh, let's see. We need to... We can intake some prisoners. 26 out of 32. We can intake some prisoners, actually, tomorrow. So, uh, four. Let's do... Yeah, let's just intake four, I think. 2,000 bucks. Um, actually, let's just do five. Why not? 2,500 bucks. We'll do five. Uh, we'll leave one one cell, you know, open just in case something happens. Feed prisoner job. Okay. I think job queued. Why are they feeding prisoner? Oh, they're feeding the prisoners in solitary. That's what's going on. All right. So their needs are doing pretty well, I feel like. Hygiene's pretty good. Everybody can shower and stuff like that. Their freedom isn't that great, but that's okay. Uh, literacy, nothing, nothing going good with that, but that's, <laughs> that's whatever. Uh, for right now, that's whatever. We'll figure that out later. The drugs thing is going down, as you can see. It used to be all in high, or all high level. Um, and now they're actually going to class for it, so that is good. We got drugs kind of taking, or we're kind of taking control of the drug problem a little bit. Hygiene's going up. Sleep is good. 
I think everything else is good, guys. Comfort and environment, we don't really care about too much. What we can do, though, is we can do another grant today. So we actually make some more money right off the bat for another grant. Um, increase the size of your security force. Unlock body armor through bureaucracy. Unlock tasers through bureaucracy. Build a CCTV monitor. Play CCTV cameras throughout your system. We just did that. Dang it. I totally forgot to look at this, man. Um, so, unlock. Okay. Yeah, we might as well select it. Let's select it and see what happens. So, we just got 20000 bucks right off the bat. And did it give us any of these finished yet? Increase the size. Yes, we did. Okay. Unlock tasers. We already did that. Build a CCTV monitor. Play CCTV cameras. We're already 50% done with this so increase the size of your security force I wonder how many guards we need to do that for um, so unlock body armor through bureaucracy let's go ahead and do that right now uh, where is body armor 1000 bucks there we go uh, so we're unlocking body armor anything else we need to do here legal stuff death row and stuff um, yeah don't really need to do that yet uh, we might need to do bank loans, so let's do that. I'm going to spend 500 bucks for the bank loan. Uh, offshore tax haven. Your accountant stretches the rules of breaking point, moves all your official accounts and business processes to a foreign country with highly prefer <laughs> preferential tax rates. Your effective corporation uh, tax liability would drop to around 1%. You will save a total of 3,000 taxes per 10,000 of daily profit. Uh, that's $50,000. I'm not going to do that. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, let's not do that right now at least. Okay, so we have everybody this figured out the solitary thing. So that is really, really good. Uh, we're good with that. Three families waiting for Nine prisoners up for parole. Um, so we need to figure out the parole thing. Okay, we just had five prisoners arrive, guys. Five prisoners arriving. Let's go ahead and turn the, off our intake for the next day. Uh, let's see. We have five new prisoners today. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so, let's see. As far as parole goes, um, let's go to programs here. Do we have two things of parole going on? We have a parole hearing in the morning and a parole hearing in the evening. So... Not too bad. I think that's okay. Um, do we? Can we do two parole rooms? No, no, no. Let's just see how it kind of goes today for parole. Uh, I think it should be fine. Uh, let's see. We have five, nine prisoners up for parole. Hopefully, like every every day, someone will go up to or go through the parole thing, and uh, should be okay. Okay, so yeah, they're going in the parole thing here right now. Uh, let's see. Let's kind of let's kind of check out what happens here. Um, yeah, so this danger level is going way down, so that's very very good. S prisoners are saying they're well treated. Awesome. Two armed guards in service. Four prisoners unnecessarily searched recently. No worries. Okay, so this guy is going here for parole. Uh, he's stoical, so hopefully he can actually get out of here. That'd be great. Uh, where is the grading? Okay, estimated reoffending chance. So he, his estimated chance of reoffending is 39%. So basically, he's gonna be. I believe how this works is he's gonna be denied parole um, because, like, his estimated reoffending chance is 39%. And let's check out like for our, um, where is it? Our grants? No, our programs. Our policy parole cutoff so I have it at 33% so if a prisoner has a reoffending rate less than this value they will be released at the end of their parole hearing so they need to be 33% or less of a re of a reoffending rate and um, he obviously was yeah his reoffending chance was 39% so he might be able to get parole tomorrow or something. I'm not exactly sure when he can go up for parole again. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure about that. Uh, this is 
kind of bad right here. We're going to need to figure this out. Or his health, the health is bad. A record of a prisoner's health and well-being during his stay in your prison. Outdoor exercise and good food count toward this. Injuries that go untreated. Drugs and alcohol usage all count against it. So poor score here will increase his chance of reoffending, particularly if the prisoner leaves the prison with untreated drug or alcohol dependencies. Okay, um, seven penalties, seven percent of stay with untreated injuries. Oh, got it. Because he had injuries before. That's why. Okay, so we're we're kind of okay with the injury department though, uh, from now on. So I'm not really too worried about that. Look at all this. Wow, we're just spending a lot of money on body armor and stuff. That is no good. Tons and tons of body armor. Oh, oh, the body armor thing was unlocked. That's why. So now our guys actually have, they're wearing body armor. So increase the size of your security force. 45%. Um, do I need, let's see, do I need to just hire guards or armed guards? I wonder. Let's hire one guard and see if that goes up at all. So we just hired a guard. 50%. Yes, that is going up. Um, let's see. So we can hire... So we have 10 guards going on. They're 100 bucks a day. It's going to kind of be a lot of money, dude. A lot of money, dude. Um, should we do another arm guard, though? Uh, so we're only making 120 bucks a day. That is not good. Days without incident. Yeah, so should we should have some more days without an incident. That would be great. Uh, let's see. Workman wages. Guard wages. 2,000. Administrator. Okay. Um, I believe what we need to do, guys, is we're going to do some workshop stuff. And I don't think we have a, a whole bunch of time in this episode to get it all done or anything. Uh, but so this episode, I want to focus on a couple simple things. Um... For one, let's go ahead and clone this area right here. Um, I want to add some more cells right here. So they can just go like that. There we go. And I believe like that. There we go. Awesome. Uh, those can be cloned. Also, I want to clone this part right there. Sweet party. So we have a couple more cells here to work with um also we need to we need to clone these normal cells down here so just since we have the money i want to kind of do this now you know what i mean so if we get these cells going right here i think this is fine right there guys okay so as you might know if you guys have been watching the episodes what I'm doing right now is I'm going to start making the area for um, all of our maximum security prisoners are going to be down here. They're all going to be put down here. Um, and as, as of right now, it's not that big of a deal that we're going to have cells down here and stuff um, because they can get through those doors pretty quickly because we have the automatic doors now. Uh, so as you guys can see... This is way easier having these automatic doors and door servos than it is to always have a guard unlocking them with keys. Because that is just bad. Um, so, anyway, they're finding a bunch of stuff up there. That's no good. Uh, so, what we're going to do in the next episode and stuff is we're going to try to clone the rest of this. Here, what I need to do... Actually, we can do it right now. Should we do it right now? Um... Let's see. Should we do this right now? I want to clone. Let's see. How much is this to clone? This is another 3000 bucks. That's actually not that bad. Not too shabby. What we need to do, though, is make another um, room here or foundation. Let's get foundation here. Building concrete blocks. Why, why are you blocked, yo? All right, let's make this. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here. Um, okay, something like that is totally, I guess, fine. 7000 bucks, huh? It's pretty expensive. But that's okay. We're, we'll do it. That should be good. That should be good. So we're going to have a huge area going on here, guys. As you can slowly see, or, or as you can see, we are slowly going to be extending... I'm going to be separating the prisoners now. So we're actually 
Um, I mean, we went through a little bit of a rough, a little bit of a rough time with the prisoners going cray cray on each other. Uh, now this is gonna solve it. Um, all of these super bad prisoners, they're gonna be put in their own area down here. Um, I'm gonna need to give them a shower, their own canteen, their own kitchen, their own like infirmary. Um, their own yard everything guys everything I kind of need to duplicate down here So that's gonna cost a lot a lot of money. Uh, it's gonna be no bueno We have another dude going in for parole right here. Oh, no, he's just cleaning um, Yeah, so That's gonna be the next project is slowly gonna be moving all this the super um, Super max and the maximum security guys all to this kind of this area down here and just get them away from the general population basically uh, real quick before we end here though I'm just gonna clone this let's clone the shower this is basically gonna be the same same shower layout let's go like that that is fine um, is this a wall yes it is so actually before I do that let's go let's clone one more thing of these there we go we want one more thing as cells here. 3,000 bucks. Okay, that can be... Yeah, that can go right there. Actually, if that does go there, that's where the bags are. Um, let's just make... Let's just see where that is. So that is right there. And then I want one... I want one more space between that. Okay, so I don't want to put something... Okay, so I, I was just kind of spacing out where I'm gonna put this shower. So instead of doing that, let's do the shower real quick. Um, so the shower is gonna go, huh, not there, but it's gonna go right here, I believe. So this will be, this will leave enough for a hallway and stuff because their thing is gonna end there and then one hallway and then shower. Okay, so shower is gonna go right there. Bam, or at least that part of the shower is and then what are we missing? We're just missing this wall here So let's just clone the rest of this wall. Whoops. Can I not clone? Whoops. Okay There we go. Let's clone the rest of this wall for the shower here. There you go. Very very nice um, Right now, I don't need to make the rest of the cells and we're gonna need to make the the um, whatever you want to call it the canteen or the <laughs> the canteen in the kitchen pretty pretty soon uh, But anyway, it looks like we're getting our our daily cash flow is kind of coming back up Which is gonna be very very nice. It's gonna be very easy to get more more and more money since we are cloning more and more cells and stuff uh, What are these guys doing? They're already taking up these cells uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. It's one in the morning. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. That would be super, super appreciated. And we will see you in the next episode. Uh, later, peeps.